Scorpio, come on in. Put your feet up, make yourselves at home. My name is Jed Dossel with Jed TV. All right, Scorpio, this video is about betrayal. Betrayal. So you've been betrayed. What do you need to know and how can we move on? But remember, loves, these are general readings, so it's not going to resonate with all of you. But if it does, take a look at the description box below. There's a link to my Patreon if you want to watch extended videos. There is also a link to my website if you want to book a private reading. I only book private readings via my website. You have to come to my website. Description box. Take a look. Link right there. All right, my loves. So you've been betrayed. Let's ask about it. Scorpio. go down the path that you sort of felt like this is the kind of person who isn't going to break my heart this is it's like you kind of went for a new type because you kept going for the same old and uh I love my cups of tea this is a uh, revitalized tea by Pucker I'm obsessed with it if you're a uh, herbal tea concert I feel like you get you went for a different type and this one made you really happy this was a really lovely kind person but they really they really shafted you this time didn't they you're not like the others oh wait tell me about this chariot in reverse what you need to know right now The cards were the wrong way around. I gotta reshuffle, even though it felt right. They just they weren't in the right way. You kind of went about this all in the right way. So how did it go wrong? You took it slowly. You didn't just jump into bed with this person. You you did everything right this time. I see that. How did they betray you? I can't see how they betrayed you. There's no there's no signs here of what they did yet. How did they betray you? They... They lied to you about the direction of the relationship. They said they had feelings that they didn't have. And then it's sort of like it, they kind of won you over in that way. It's almost like as soon as they got you, because you were like, you know, this is different from the rest. I'm going to I'm going to give them a chance. All right. They they seem to they seem to be different. I'm going to I'm going to give them a chance. It, it's like it, it's almost as if as soon as you kind of make yourself vulnerable to this person and they have you where they want you, they Drop the bombshell that actually, you know what? I don't really feel the the way I said 
I did. I, I don't really want this. Tell me more. How did they betray you? They lied. That's a betrayal. I don't think that they cheated on you. This person's a coward. Yeah, they, they, they lied about the connection. They said they felt more than they actually felt. And then when it came down to it and you were vulnerable finally, finally you let your guard down. They pulled the rug out from under you and say, oh, yeah, I got you now. I, just, I got you where I wanted you, but now I don't actually, I've never really wanted you in the first place. Sorry. Makes you feel like a fool. In some ways, it's it's almost worse than somebody betraying you by cheating or something because it's like, did we really have to go through all of this? What was what was the purpose of it? They're a, they they're a coward. This person they they hate having to talk about their feelings. This is someone who who doesn't like to open up. It just seemed easier to go along with it until it was like, well, now I don't want to go along with it anymore. Uh, things are getting a little bit too serious. Uh, I must deal with it. Yes, this, is, this has ended because, because they lied. They're a liar. They're a coward and a liar. So what's coming up in the near future? You have a new beginning. All right, tell me more. So you're not together with this person anymore, but it's difficult for you. You've been betrayed. Here we have the, the uh, Five of Swords. You've been betrayed. It's difficult for you now to move forward because you, you let yourself be vulnerable with someone entirely different. Not your usual run-of-the-mill scrubber who broke your heart before. You know, there's penniless musicians and poets, those those types who play the field, play the game. It wasn't that type. This was somebody different, but this was, this was just an idiot who was a coward and, and they didn't know how to say, actually, you know what, I, I don't want a big serious thing. You're you moving on, but it's it's difficult. You've been you've been lied to. And tell me more about this new beginning, because we're just going back to the past. We keep going back to the past. So, tell me more about this new beginning. It's hard for you to begin this new beginning. I don't get it. Hang on. Is this not someone you know before? No, it's new. It's someone like that you feel you, you've known before. You feel very, so comfortable with this person, but you're so caught up in the past and the betrayal and the, the being lied to, you're, you know, you're afraid. So this is coming in the near future. So it's a new beginning with someone who you feel like you've met before. But you, this is you, you're heartbroken. They're like wanting to throw themselves in to this relationship like, we. But you're like, look, I've, I've been heartbroken. I can almost want to stay left at the altar. Like, I, they let it get as far as getting married or something and left you at the altar. Like, you know what? I can't go through with it. I don't really love you. It got that serious anyway. Even if it wasn't marriage, it was like that serious. So let me take a look at the outcome here. You've got someone coming in. If you stop looking at the past and what this person did, you have the potential of being really, actually kind of incredibly happy. 
but yeah, you've got to find that balance again and yeah you have to put up your boundaries make sure you know what those boundaries are so that somebody doesn't cross them yes but uh there's boundaries in these walls you know you gotta you gotta let people in it's scary i know but I don't know. Oh. That's the thing, love love is coming in in the near future. You have the opportunity. You have the the new beginning. With someone who you feel very comfortable with, you just have to let go of the past. And I would suggest again taking it slowly. Yeah. Like you did before. Just uh, pay attention to the red flags this time. I sort of feel like the red flags this time were different to the ones that you already knew about. So they didn't stand out. Now you know, both types are red flags. So you can pay attention, right? I'm going to take into the extended after this. Uh, I'm going to... I'm not going to ask about this person. It's done. It's over. We're going to ask about this new person coming in. When are they coming? What are their intentions towards you? Some guidance from the universe. Let's have a look. Look, he's on your side. One more. Go on. One more. And answers you need are coming. Your love light for the day is Good Morning by the Beatles. This is a song that's about being excited to see somebody. But that's it. I worry about it. I haven't got anything to say to you. I'm excited to see you. I will see you. It's going to be great. But I haven't got anything to say about it. Okay. Thanks for joining me. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you want to watch the extended, take a look at the description box below. There is a link to my Patreon. You'll find the video there. Bye.